Hello friends. So we have a great combo in the house today. Two great companies of the world, Google and Zombie, have come together and have given us MIA1. So the software is obviously coming from Google. It's based on Android One project and the hardware is coming from Zombie Technologies. So we have the phone in front of us today. Let's unbox it. Uh, it comes in the usual cover which has been there for the previous Xiaomi phones and here is the handset. Uh, as you can see we have the golden handset. It looks quite premium to hold. Uh, we'll see the handset later. Let's see what's there inside the box. And that SIM removal kit has been given on the side this time. It has got adapter here and the USB cable is over here. The earphone is uh, missing in this handset. Uh, it, Xiaomi has not been give, give, giving earphones for its other handsets as well. Uh, we have the usual leaflets inside. Uh, now let's check out the handset. The handset has got our rear two rear cameras this time, uh, which is a little different from the Redmi Note 4. The other way, in specification wise, it looks very similar to Redmi Note 4. We have the fingerprint sensor over here. On the left hand side, you have the SIM tray. And on the right hand side, we have the usual volume button and the power button. Uh, there are three capacitive buttons at the bottom of this screen. Uh, as far as the specification of this phone goes, it, it looks very close sibling of the Redmi Note 4 except the uh, two rear cameras. There is a rear flash. Uh, it has got 4 GB, 4 GB of RAM and the storage is 64 GB which, is, which can be expanded to 128 GB. It has got a dual SIM. Uh, both the SIMs have to have to be nano this time uh, and it's based on the same processor as Redmi Note 4. It works uh, it works on Snapdragon 625. Uh, it's quite thin to hold. The only drawback in this phone is the battery capacity. It's only 3080 mAh this time as in contrast to Redmi Note 4 which gave you 4100 mAh. Otherwise, uh, the, it has got a metallic body and the, and a very premium look. Now, let's start this phone. Uh, as you are aware, since it's based on Android 1 project, you get the latest Android 7.1.2 out of the box. And let's see how the stock Android uh, looks on this phone. If you're not very happy with MIUI, uh, I, I, I believe this is the best phone to buy because you are getting uh, Android experience right outside the right out of the box. Uh, we will see how the camera looks once the phone starts. I will just tell you more about the camera. It has got 12 megapixel camera uh, uh, on the rear, which is its primary camera. And the secondary camera is five megapixel. Uh, since it has got uh, dual cameras, you can actually have uh, the depth effect and the portrait mode what iPhone 7 uh, Plus is giving you these days. Uh, so as you can see, it has got the stock Android UI. All the apps are over here and there are only Google apps available except the feedback button, which is uh, given by MI directly. Otherwise, all other applications are from Google directly and no MI applications are here. Now let's check out the camera. The camera looks quite brilliant in uh, bright light conditions. We will play some objects over here to see its quality. The camera is brilliant in bright light and you can actually zoom yeah so bright light conditions are great but we'll have to see how this camera performs in low light uh, now let's see the portrait mode effect so as you can see you can actually focus on an object and it gives you depth effect and blurs out the surrounding let's try to capture So the camera is, is great for bright light conditions as you can see it has actually blurred out the surroundings so it is giving you what uh, iPhone 7 plus can give you quite close to that but of course iPhone uh, it's, it's not matching the iPhone quality. So that's it guys uh, I would recommend if you want uh, the Google stock Android version with great hardware. Uh, you should definitely go uh, for this phone. Uh, it's available for 14999 on uh, your e-commerce portals. And uh, stay tuned, subscribe to our channel and we would be coming out with iPhone 8 review very soon. Bye-bye guys.